Okay, in this tutorial we're going to look at uh, how we would add images to a page. Uh, I'm going to start at the uh, course participants page here uh, on my page that we started in an earlier tutorial. Uh, this is an existing page, so I click in here and we're going to wander on over to leisure interests and this might be a good pay place then to add an image, maybe even of me. So one of my leisure activities is I enjoy running and I have a recent picture from uh, a marathon that I ran. So what I'll do is I will go into edit this page and I'm going to use the icon in this one uh, from the toolbar here and it looks like a little portrait and um, this says uh, add images and other files um, if you can see the tooltip. Sorry it's not giving me as big a text as I would like here but yeah, add images and other files. And we'll do the other files in a subsequent tutorial. But let's click this to add a picture. And this is going to bring up a new window. And the main area of interest here is going to be this Browse button here. This is similar to things that you probably have for like attachments for email and that kind of thing. I'm going to browse to wherever that image is. like it's right there and I'm going to click open and now I have to say upload so it's two step process here actually three steps we'll go ahead and upload it now and this may take a few moments depending on how good your connection is and there the picture appears now I still need to select the image so really all I did there is add it to my collection of uh, media files and um, now I'm going to actually click it. If I wanted to trash it, there's a trash can there. If we want to just take a look at it, a closer look, there's a magnifying glass to look at the file. And then we can uh, edit the metadata or things like titles and that type of thing. But right now I'm just going to select it. And voila, it puts in the code for me. And if we do a save, we would have um, our image. Maybe a little bit larger, however, than we would like. At least larger than I would like. And so I'm going to go back in and I'm going to edit this. I'm going to add a couple other things here. Um, and this all, you don't, you're not going to be able to remember all this stuff. I just get uh, accustomed to going into this formatting syntax link within here whenever I need to do something I don't do quite regularly. But for example, with uh, the image size, we can add before the pipe but after the file name, we can add a question mark and specify a width for the image file. And so a typical screen is about a thousand pixels across. Um, we're probably uh, that was probably showing up. The original file was what 400? About 400 pixels. Let's go for about uh, maybe a third of that or so. We'll say 150 pixels wide. We'll do a preview this time. That looks all right. Save. Okay. Now, there's a couple of other things you can do uh, fairly easily with images. Uh, one, which actually is because it's a very important practice, and that's adding a caption or what shows up as a tooltip. So I'm going to call it just say Kendall running in the 2007 Phoenix Marathon. And now when I save that. If you mouse over this, the uh, caption will appear there. So it said, just said briefly there, Kendall running the in the 2007 Phoenix Marathon. That's also good for screen readers and other uh, um, tools that might use the web uh, to get information about a picture that can't otherwise be seen for some reason. Um, okay, one other item of interest is alignment. So as I mentioned it earlier once, DocuWiki takes spaces very seriously. In fact, it uses them in, in really quite an elegant manner. So if I go to the beginning of this inside the curly brackets and I add two spaces, essentially shifting things to the right, if I go in and preview this now, we should see the image is also shifted to the right. If I remove those two from the right and actually do the additional spaces um, over on the right or essentially shifting the text to the left 
and preview it. It's us back over, and then now your uh, um, pop quiz is how could we make it centered? What if we put two spaces in the front and left the two spaces in the back? In other words, we've squished it into the middle. Preview. And that didn't work. <laughs> we'll troubleshoot that one as a later point. But I got too far along in this, so we're going to leave this one as that. Hope you don't mind. Okay, I took a little break there and did a little troubleshooting and discovered the error in my ways here. Uh, the spaces need to be, so this one's on this side of the curly brackets, and uh, the second one should be before the pipe. If you remember, I had it um, after the end curly brackets. It's actually before the captions. So putting your spaces um, on either side of the file name over here and the curly brackets here will give you the same effect. So now if we go look and we will see a centered image. So that concludes this nearly perfect tutorial.